Asset protection is an essential skill. You need to hunker down and fortify your location from approaching hostiles in order to protect the asset. A member of the SAS, Smoke, is equipped with remote gas grenades. Force enemies to launch a ground assault by cutting lines of sight, eliminating their ability to target the asset from long range. Gain a tactical advantage by creating choke points and eliminate hostiles as they approach your location. Smoke's remote gas grenades are an effective deterrent to keep hostiles at bay. Hello everybody, welcome to Game Instructors. Today I'll be teaching you how to use smoke from Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. Alright, his specialty is an anti-entry trapple. So basically, uh, he's going to block doorways so people or attackers can't get in. Stuff like that. Anyways, before we get down to uh, his ability, let's get down to his gadgets and his guns. His first gun is the FMG-9, which is an SMG. And his other gun is the M590A1, which is a 12-gauge pump-action shotgun. His secondary weapons are the P226 MK25, and there's uh, other secondaries, SMG-11. His gadgets is a proximity alarm and a barbed wire. His unique ability is a remote gas grenade that's, that detonates a toxic gas. Basically, it's a big toxic gas that basically gasses anybody inside and takes a lot of damage from their health. Anyways, that's basically the rundown of his gadgets, his guns, and his ability. But let's learn more about him in the game, shall we? And that's smoking a little rundown. I'll be showing you what Smokey or Toki can really do. Anyways, smoke spawns in with three smoke charges. And uh, here's a little demonstration of what it can do. Throw it at something, you press the same button, and boom. Release a little smoke gas that only you can run through. Besides the teammates or this to take damage. And enemies. Anyways, I'll be using my little test subject. He's using a shield. Smoke's uh. Shields, worst enemy, or smoke? This is my little smoke friend. Hey, would you would you be kind to sit in that corner for me? Alright, anyways. So when you have a Montagia right here, sitting in a corner like a little twat, you're gonna need to do something about it. Alright? So here's my little here's my little tip for you, babies. Alright. You throw your smoke charge behind him, he gasses out, and what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Run away? Nah. He can't. Cause he'll die either way. Uh, let's get down to the next one. Anyway, smoke is an anti-entry. It's going to stop people from getting into that little door or window you don't want them to come through, right? So here's a little thing. If you don't want them coming through that door, then I guess you have to gas that door. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, by the way, if you ever hear someone enter that door with your EOS or your proximity alarms, I want you to gas that place immediately. Like this. And right, I'll be waiting. Like that. And when he go when he's running away, start shooting at the smoke. Cause usually when they start running away, they're gonna, they're gonna get scared. They're gonna run away like little chickens. And they run. Anyways, that thing was going on, but I'll be showing you a better way of doing that. Instead of using your ears, you're gonna be using your mind and your proximity alarms. Anyways, I want you to place the proximity alarm at a door or something. And I want you to place your smoke at that door. Now, wait for your prey. Even if you don't have your sound cues on, you could you could still uh, see a little. You get five points if somebody triggers your uh, proximity alarm. So it tell you if somebody has your proximity alarm. I always suggest placing one down because it's going to get kind of confusing if you place down both of them down. Now we wait. Oh shit! And press it. It's going to get gas. We'll start running. I want you to run through your gas and fire at him. <laughs> Are you serious? It, it works half the time. Ben. Anyways, the box simulator alarm strat is pretty good and all, but this is the barbed wire strat for your people with big heels and like to heal stuff. Oh. 
was that about? Anyways, place down your barbed wire in an area, like a nearby door or like a window. You don't want them coming through. Snow like. And place down your proximity alarm. I mean your little uh, gas charge bullshit thing. And now you wait for your play. Mm -hmm. Oh my! Before we wait for our play, the barbed wires are kind of loud and they'll slow down your enemy. So you'll be healing if you heal this. Then that means they're in your little area, so gas them. And also, slow them down a bit, so it's gonna be harder for them to get out of your little trap. It's basically, you're a spider. And while waiting for your prey. When you get in this barbed wire, you gas them. Takes a bit of a while, but he's gonna start running away. Gonna get up to him close and personal. Gonna shank him. Cause remember, Smokey the Toki can always give that Chokey the Moki. Anyways, that's all I have to teach for today. Thank you for watching Gaming Instructors. That's all. Chilly out, baby.